Secretary Raimondo, is the pitch harder right now, given all this ridiculous drama we're dealing with on the debt ceiling? We're seeing multiple bank failures. I mean, this is the discussion on Wall Street. I'm curious what the pitch is now for getting investment in America, given some of these headwinds. You know, I'm, that is not what I am hearing at all. Uh, this is the biggest Select USA we've ever had, and I've never seen this level of excitement. And I think a lot of it is on account of the fact of the incredible investments that we're making, you know, under President Biden's leadership, investments in infrastructure, the Inflation Reduction Act, the CHIPS Act, all of the businesses that I'm talking to here uh, are saying that they want to invest in America. You know, we have the best talent source, the deepest capital markets. And again, there's huge opportunities in the semiconductor industry to invest in the um, electric vehicle space, in the battery space. Even the governors I'm talking to here are saying that they are just kind of overwhelmed by the interest on behalf of uh, other investors and companies from outside of the U.S. to invest in America. It's great to hear. I also noticed that, that there are a number of Chinese businesses, 100 people from China, I believe, and Hong Kong attending this year, which is up sharply from last year and the year before. It's, it's sort of surprising. Are we welcoming Chinese investment in America right now, despite some of the security concerns? Absolutely. As I have said so many times, as the president has said, we have no interest in decoupling. Uh, we are going to fiercely guard our most advanced technology to make sure that we're not, you know, fueling China's civil military fusion operation. But with respect to, you know, trade in other kinds of goods or goods that have nothing to do with technology or the military apparatus, that creates American jobs. And that is something that we want to encourage. This year, we have about 100 Chinese businesses, as you said. Uh, a couple of years ago, it was under 50. So, you know, even the Chinese and these companies recognize what we know, which is America is the best place to invest, the best place to start and run a company. Madam Secretary, it's, it, it's Dom. I, I wonder, from that competitive dynamic, there are those who will argue that China today is what the Soviet Union was to America back in the 70s and 80s. What, how would you characterize how we treat our relationship with China from that perspective of commerce and defense and everything else? And, and does the business aspect maybe make things a little bit more difficult? Um, I, I think that's a little bit apples and oranges. Uh, you know, China is a, is a massive economy, our, one of our largest trading partners, et cetera. I think of it, uh, we want to promote American business and exports and trade where it's in our interest and where it can create jobs. But we also need to be eyes wide open about the military threat and the fact that China want, we're ahead of China on AI, on chips, on a lot of advanced technology. And we need to protect that at all costs because they can't get that to advance their military. We would be crazy to allow that. So we're going to protect ourselves. We're going to protect the American people. But we're also going to trade and do business where it makes sense to create jobs and to, you know, to de-escalate any tension. The, escalation is in nobody's interest, and doing business where appropriate is the right thing. You mentioned chips, and I, I was wondering if you could give us an update. We're now about eight months since, since the passing of the CHIPS Act. I know you've had your hands full here. When it comes to dispersing money, are you on schedule, on target? What, what, is, what is the timeline here for when we can actually get those factories built in the U.S.? We are on target. We are pedaling as fast as we possibly can. And we've been so uh, pleased with the response. We've received over 200 statements of interest from companies all over the world who want to uh, manufacture chips or package chips in the United States. So, uh, you know, we will have significant announcements before the year is out, and we are just working in partnership with companies to uh, invest this money in a way that makes sure that America leads the world in semiconductor design, development, and production. We also want to lead the world in AI, but we want to do it safely. Uh, Madam Secretary, you're, you're part of this meeting that the vice president is holding tomorrow with the CEOs of Google and Microsoft and OpenAI, and I'm curious what the, what the goal is 
and what your concern level is around some of this technology. The concern level is high. You know, it's, it's a challenge because on the one hand, the excitement level is high. When you think about the promise and potential of AI and what it means for advances in health care, advances in education, advances in business, as you say, we're in the lead and we want to keep the lead. But it has to be done safely, and it's an incredibly powerful technology. So we want to have a serious discussion with industry. Uh, as of, you know, uh, tomorrow will be one discussion among many that we're having with many stakeholders to try to figure out how we, pr how we go fast but without breaking things.